We're going to search ERIC, an educational database. If you're affiliated with Drexel University, make sure you start this search from the Drexel Library website. That way you'll have access to Drexel subscription journals on ERIC. We'll be using the Boolean operators AND and OR in this search. If you need a refresher on how to use AND and OR commands, please see our video on Boolean operators. Our search topic will be Curriculum Design in Medical Education. I'm going to enter the keywords that I need to find articles on my topic. So I'll start with Curriculum Design, and because I want these terms to appear in this order, I'm placing them in quotes. I'm also going to search on a related concept, Curriculum Planning, also in quotes. Since I'm looking for articles that discuss either Curriculum Design or Curriculum Planning, or both, I'll be using the Boolean operator OR. And click on Search. There are over 15,000 citations that discuss the concepts of curriculum design or curriculum planning. Now let's look for articles on medical education. I'll place that in quotes as well. Click on Search, and I retrieved 11,000 citations. Now we want to look for articles that discuss both curriculum design and medical education in the same article. To do that, I'll click in the box next to the first set, and the second set on medical education, and combine the sets using the Search with AND box. and I have 355 results. I might want to limit these results using the filters that are on the left-hand side of my screen. For example, if I wanted to look at articles that were published in the past 10 years, I could limit by publication date. To do that, I'll click on this button, hold down my mouse key, and just drag this until it reaches 2006. That will give me the past 10 years. I'm also going to limit by articles that are peer-reviewed. So I'll click in the box next to the peer review limit, and then click on View Results to view the results that also have the limits. And if I wanted to select the citations that I thought might be relevant, I can click in the folder next to those citations. I'll just select a few at random. After you've selected your articles, scroll towards the top of your screen until you see the folder link. Here are the five citations I've selected. I could choose to print them, email them to myself, save them as a file, or export them to a bibliographic citation program like EndNote. There are several options for accessing the full text of the articles depending on the citation. I could view the PDF of the article, find the full text in the ERIC repository, or I can check to see if Drexel subscribes to the journal. I'm going to click on this Drexel full text link. If we own the article, it will either appear on the screen or give you the option to link to the full text. Occasionally, you'll select an article that Drexel doesn't own. Drexel doesn't have online access to this item, but it does give you the option of borrowing the item through interlibrary loan. Click on this link, 
enter your Drexel 1 username and password and log on to Iliad. Follow the instructions on the screen and if the library can borrow it from another institution, we'll send you a link of the item to gain the full text of the article. Most interlibrary loan transactions take about 72 hours between the time you submit your request and the time you receive the link, so make sure you give yourself plenty of time to do your research. If you have any questions about using ERIC, developing a search strategy, or a topic, don't hesitate to contact the Drexel Libraries.